I've had a couple of people message me recently and ask why I haven't been posting as many videos. And I'm kind of in my fitness room. I'm going to do a quick pan here so you can kind of see. I'm in my fitness room. And basically what I've been doing is instead of spending every day... Um, I got that crap on my teeth again. That always freaks me out because when I first got cancer, that's the first thing that happened. <laughs> I think I'm going to wait and do this video later. I figured I'd show you how to make this because it has become one of my all-time favorite things to have during my fitness journey. Um, somebody told me that it was called an Elvis shake, and I don't know how much truth there is to that or not. But it's pretty good. So you're going to start with a glass of cold water. This came out of the refrigerator. You could also use ice if you wanted to. You're going to put that in a blender. Then, you're going to add one banana. I usually take and do it in halves or thirds or something like that. Just to help with it getting mixed up. Next thing you're going to do is two tablespoons of PB2 peanut butter powder. Now you can use two tablespoons of regular peanut butter if you want. The difference is PB2 doesn't have fat and regular peanut butter does. I used to make it with regular peanut butter and then I started getting the anal about how much fat I was consuming on my fitness journey. So two tablespoons of peanut butter powder or two tablespoons of regular peanut butter next thing you're going to do is one scoop of protein now I've used vanilla I've used chocolate I've used Oreo cookie I've used several different ones I think I even used strawberry they all taste really good so there's one scoop of vanilla you're also going to add one cup of milk, but again, milk has fat, so I used powdered milk, one third cup of powdered milk, or one cup of milk. Finally, you're going to add about one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Or vanilla, if you have regular vanilla. So, baking vanilla. About one tablespoon. Now, I've made it without the vanilla. And it turns out pretty good. So, if you don't have the vanilla, don't sweat it. Finally, you're just going to blend it all up. However long it takes. Pour that into a glass. Cheers. This is really, really good. I'll go ahead and put the nutritional value on the screen. But if you are um, trying to lose weight or you're trying to gain muscle or you just want to start your day out with a healthy, um, something that tastes really good and is healthy, this is it. It has a lot of proteins, has a lot of carbs, and it's excellent. So I start every morning just like this. Hope you enjoy. 
anyways, back to what I'm doing. I actually took my teeth out. I literally couldn't seem to see it on the screen. Um, of course, you know, with the cancer, I had to have all my teeth pulled. But, um, so I took my teeth out, and now we're back to here. But what I was getting at is the reason why I haven't been uploading as many homesteading videos is multiple reasons. I've just kind of taken the time that I used to do editing videos every day. Every day I would spend three or four hours editing videos in order to create content three to five videos a week on my YouTube channel. <clears throat> and the whole entire time I'm stepping on a scale and watching my fat go up. And, you know, after the cancer treatment, I basically became sedentary, which was not me at all. And I just wanted to take control of my fitness post-cancer uh, immediately. I didn't want it to get any worse. So in May, I started at 32.8% body fat. And uh, I, I'm down pretty low right now. But um, anyways, so that's kind of what I wanted to let you know. I, I'm still alive and kicking and perfectly healthy. And every time every little thing happens, you think the cancer is coming back just like that thing on my teeth but um you know I'm fine the other thing is too you know during cancer I had to get rid of all the animals so gardening season's just about over and I didn't do a garden this year um I haven't even messed with the bees this year to be honest with you I literally checked on them in the spring for the first time in my life I found out I'm allergic to bees <laughs> How's that for a surprise? And um, I ordered a bee suit and I inspected them once or twice after that. And I've just decided that bees have taken care of themselves for millions of years before humans intervened. And I would just pick up on the bees next year when hopefully I'm farther along in my cancer recovery. So that's kind of the update. You should try that shake that I posted. I have some other tips. If you're interested in being healthier, just let me know because I have, I know how to do it. If you need help or if you need to someone to say this is what you need to do, just shoot me a message. I'll help you. I, I help anybody for anything they ever ask me on my channel. So that's all I wanted to do is a quick update. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families and God bless your homesteads.